let us have some examples involving different trigonometric functions. We have integral of second squared of 4x minus 3 dx. If we refer back to the formula, we all know that the integral of second squared u is equivalent to tangent u. But the u here is 4x minus 3. So let's put it down. u is equal to 4x minus 3. Now if we derive u, we will have 4 dx. Based on the trigonometric formula, enable for us to use the formula. The u, the derivative of u must be present on the problem itself or in the original function. So there must be 4 dx on the function. But we can only see dx. We need to introduce a constant 4 into the equation or into the function. So this will become second squared of 4x minus 3. We will introduce 4. And we will balance that with a factor of 1 over 4. So that there will be no changes in the equation even though we introduce 4. So we can now use the formula for the second squared, which is tangent u. So that's tangent. Our u is 4x minus 3. And then don't forget the arbitrary constant c. So this is the integral of second squared 4x minus 3 dx. Let's proceed into another example. The problem is integral of sine 2x dx over 2 sine x cosine squared x. At first glance, you might consider this a very complicated problem, but it is not. All we have to do is to review our knowledge of trigonometric identities that we have learned from trigonometry. As you can see on the numerator, we have sine 2x. That's a double angle function. And we need to recall the formula for sine 2x or a double angle of sine. And that is sine 2x is equivalent to 2 sine x cosine x. That is the trigonometric identity of sine 2x. So what we're going to do is substitute this equation or the value of sine 2x into the original function. And let's simplify the problem. So that's integral of 2 sine x cosine x dx over 2 sine x cosine squared x. Simplifying the problem will cancel 2 sine x with 2 sine x and 1 cosine with 1 cosine on the denominator. So we are left with dx over cosine x. And 1 over cosine x is equivalent to second x. So we have simplified our integral as second x dx. Now we're referring to the formula for integration of trigonometric functions, the integral of second x dx is equivalent to ln of second x plus tangent x plus c. So there you have it, the answer for the integral of sine 2x dx over 2 sine x 
cosine squared x. Let's solve another example. Integral of dx over sine 3x tangent 3x. Again, let's uh, resort into the basic trigonometric identities before we try to integrate the function. We can reduce or we can simplify the integral function if we convert tan 3x, tangent 3x, into sine over cosine. So sine 3x, we have sine 3x over cosine 3x because tangent is equivalent to sine over cosine and this function will become dx over sine 3x times sine 3x that is sine squared 3x over cosine 3x and then simplifying that's cosine 3x dx over sine squared 3x. Now, let us try to transfer the function sine from the denominator to the numerator. And what will happen is the sine will become negative. That's integral of cosine. 3x sine negative 2 3x dx. What we're gonna do is to make the function sine as our base, and we will be using the power formula. We have sine 3x. Its derivative must be present on the function itself, which we have here, cosine 3x. Again, the derivative of sine 3x, let me write it, write it down here. So the derivative of sine 3x is equivalent to cosine 3x, and then derive the angle 3x. And that is times 3. So we need to have the term 3 cosine 3x on the function. But we only have 3 uh, cosine 3x dx. So we will introduce the constant 3 on the function. So let me write first the sine negative 2 3x cosine 3x and then introducing the, the constant 3 and since we introduce 3 we will balance that with 1 over 3 and let's proceed into integration using the power formula so copy the base that is sine 3x the exponent is negative 2 plus 1 we have negative 2 plus 1, and don't forget the c. So let's simplify. This is 1 third sine negative 1 3x over negative 1 plus c. This is negative 1 over 3 sine 3x plus c or simply this is just negative cosecant 3x over 3 plus c so this is the integral of the function dx over sine 3x tangent 3x